Okay. So we'll do nucleic acid. Nucleic acid. Do you have NCRT book with you now? Yeah. Open it. Um, what all, what is the content given in nucleic acid there? Just tell me the topic name. Chemical composition of nucleic acid. Okay. Structure of nucleic acid. Just a second, just a second, wait. Huh. Chemical composition is given then? Structure and biological functions. Structure of uh, nucleic acids and biological functions, right? Okay. There are a few structures. What is the name of the structure given? They have given uh, pyrimidine, cytosine, uracil, thymine. Yeah, adenine, guanine. Yeah. Guanine, adenine. Okay. And those structure actually you have to again memorize. Sir, is nucleic acid very important from uh, JE point of view? Uh, I don't think it's very important because it is mainly you know, um, important for NEAT experience. Okay, they ask questions in NEAT. means structure-based questions, replication and all, they won't ask in JE. A structure of compounds that you have, that you should know, like the all name that I have taken, no. That you should know, like uh, the heredity, the genetic code and all, that is not required for JE. So yes. uh, what is important here is uh, to know the structure of the different molecules. Okay, adenine, guanine, those things, like I told you just now, melamine, they have asked number of lone pairs and all. So like that, they have, they can give you some name of the compound in integer type questions. Find out the, you know, the lone pair present in thymine, this kind of question they ask. Okay, so a structure-based question they ask. Function-wise, they don't ask because that is, uh, then goes to the neat the biology things and all. Okay, so you see here, we'll just finish it. What is a nucleic acid? See, um, when we talk about the living cells, okay, these living cells contains nucleoproteins, okay? Now, these nucleoproteins are actually forms by the combination, forms with proteins actually, in combination with biopolymers of another type of nucleic acids, okay? So, actually, the nucleic acid has, it has, it, there are two types of nucleic acid. You know that DNA and RNA, right? What is the, uh, like the uh, DNA, what is the full form of DNA? Deoxyribonucleic acid. acid. Okay. RNA is ribonucleic acid. So the nucleic acid is actually, write down, I'll go to the next page here. A structure of DNA and RNA, you can go through the book. It's a complex structure, helical thing and all that you can go through. It is not required here. I won't draw it. It's very complex. It's very difficult to draw also. Okay. That is structure you can go through. What are linkages are there? I'll explain that. So open the book and look at the structure when I, when I was, when I'm explaining it. Okay. I'll tell you. So nucleic acids are what? Um, these are the compounds write down, which are made up of Compounds which are made up of proteins and with the biopolymers of with the biopolymers of another type of compounds. Okay, so proteins and biopoly another kind of biopolymers if they mix it forms nucleic acid. So it is a mixture of proteins and other types of biopolymers. Okay. It, it is of two types, like I said, DNA and RNA. DNA is C ribo nucleic acid and RNA is 
ribonucleic acid. Ribonucleic acid. Okay. Next line. These are basically long chain polymers of nucleotides. Okay. It is basically the long chain polymers of nucleotides. Next slide down the chemical composition of nucleic acid. Chemical composition. of nucleic acid write down hydrolysis of nucleic acid whether you take dna or rna both hydrolysis of this hydrolysis of this gives pentose pentose sugar Hydrolysis gives pentose. This is what you need to memorize. So when you go through the NCRT book, these kind of information you must keep in mind. Okay. Pentose sugar. Okay. See, there are two types of heterocyclic nitrogenous base present in this molecule. Like you see the structure. There are two structure we have. The basic thing is pentose and pentose structure. We have already discussed in uh, the fructose thing, right? So the structure of beta D ribose, which is used in ribonucleic acid, I'll draw here. So I'll draw the structure and write down the name. And it is a three dimensional structure. Three dimensional structure. So, this bond, this carbon is actually coming towards the observer, this one. Okay. This is coming towards the observer. At this carbon, we have OH on the top, H on the bottom. Here we have H on the top. OH on the bottom, H on the top, OH on the bottom, H on the bottom, CH2 OH on the top. This structure is beta D rubose. ribose and it is used in RNA ribonucleic acid another structure you draw which is the exact structure this you draw here oxygen again it is coming towards the observer ha huh. so the structure is beta d ribose and beta D deoxyribose. Okay, so this one is beta D ribose we have drawn. This one is beta deoxyribose. The structure here we have OH and uh, this side we have hydrogen. 
this carbon has two hydrogen is this a structure given in ncrt can you check once oh h here and here we have hydrogen ch2oh it's given sir this is structure is correct no this carbon has two hydrogen yeah yeah the name of this compound is beta d ribose sorry deoxy ribose deoxy ribose in dna these two structures we have so pentose actually it has the reference compound is pentose only okay which has this uh, ring which exists in these two form in um, dna and rna okay so there are two base actually here like i said uh, the full hydrolysis of dna and rna gives a pentose sugar okay ribose in rna and deoxy in dna deoxy ribose in dna two kinds of heterocyclic nitrogenous base is present in it okay the base that we take okay one is they gives pentose sugar and other one that we get here so the pentose sugar is structure i have drawn two types and the other one we get on hydrolysis on hydrolysis it gives two kinds of heterocyclic nitrogenous base write down two heterocyclic nitrogenous base i am just giving you the the chemistry aspect of it the reaction of it nitrogenous base okay that we call it as the two nitrogenous base that we get here is purines and pyrimidines purines and pyrimidines and apart from this apart from this we also get phosphoric acid this is what you need to memorize the product phosphoric acid now the important thing here that you already know we have done this in biomolecules this is first carbon right 1 2 3 4 and 5 here also same thing 1 2 4 and 5 what you have to uh, keep in mind that c2 carbon in this deoxy ribose c2 carbon does not contain does not contain oh group this you must remember it is not present at c2 carbon okay now this two structure you must know pyrimidine and purines okay next one we'll draw the structure of these two pyrimidine structure is this uh we have a ring nitrogen this is the structure of pyrimidine alternate double bond and i'll write down the name here pyrimidine and the another one is purine purine structure is similar to pyrimidine which is this oh i missed one thing here we have nitrogen here we have nitrogen so pyrimidine we have this structure two nitrogen atom here also we have nitrogen one two and three so pyrimidine is this so this is also pyrimidine but apart from this we'll have a five membered ring here which has uh, one nitrogen present here 
another nitrogen present here and these two are attached like this so five member ring here so we have a double bond here and then nitrogen we have here so one hydrogen this side this structure is purine okay i'll draw two three more structure into this because you see what happens in pyrimidine it has a single heterocyclic ring pyrimidine is this single heterocyclic ring and purines have two ring fused ring we can say heterocyclic two rings one is this five member ring and the six member ring two fused ring we have so dna that deoxy uh, ribose nucleic acid dna has the purine base and pyrimidine base both base will have in dna but not exactly the same molecule but the base of this the purine base is adenine and guanine which is present in dna and pyrimidine base is thymine and cytosine which is present in dna but in rna it contains uracil instead of thymine in rna we have uracil present not th thymine is not present over there and it is important to note that there are two key structural difference between dna and rna okay dna contains deoxy ribose while rna has only ribose sugar that's what we have discussed last uh, page only the difference between dna and rna the main difference which is a very important point here dna has thymine while rna has uracil okay so that's what we will write now first we'll draw these structures of adenine uracil thymine guanine you should know all these structures okay so with pyrimidine you have three different base we get here with respect to this the reference compound is this and with this we'll get three different bases the first one you write down from this only this way from pyrimidine the first one is this we'll have a, a six membered ring this one here we have double bond o and here we have double bond o and alternate double bond is not present in the ring we have a double bond only here okay so ch double bond ch this double bond o and we have h here and here also we have nh trivalency of nitrogen was complete this compound we call it as uracil the structure you must remember name is not enough because once they have asked melamine they can ask you any one of these structures also uracil is represented by the symbol u capital u now this one we have cytosine cytosine the difference is what instead of this c double bond o we have nh2 present here so the structure is this nh2 this is the structure of cytosine represented by capital c one more structure we have and that is thymine thymine is everything is same with respect to this if you see but the only thing only difference is here we do not have one hydrogen but one ch3 present onto this carbon the structure is this nitrogen we have here double bond o double bond o here we have double bond here we have ch3 nh and nh so this structure is thymine that is t okay this is the structure of the three uh bases of pyrimidine which is present in our uh, dna purine the two base we have that is adenine 
the structure is this. We'll draw this structure with NH2 over here. Okay, so the structure will be this N. double bond here double bond here and double bond here this carbon has nh2 and this is attached with one nitrogen in this so we have hydrogen here and double bond here okay hydrogen double bond n this structure is adenine. It is A. And guanine, the structure is just you write down this structure in guanine. Here you write down C double bond O. I'll write down the structure here. This guanine is important. Here we have C double bond O. And here we have NH2, double bond, double bond, nitrogen, hydrogen here, and this will be as it is, nitrogen this side, nitrogen this side, and both are attached with double bond CH, hydrogen we have here. This structure is guanine, that is G. Finish this structure, let me know. I'll just dictate you two, three points here. Done, sir. Done. So write down. Pyrimidine contains, pyrimidine contains a single heterocyclic ring. Pyrimidine contains a single heterocyclic ring while purines have Two heterocyclic ring fused together. Well, purines have. Uh, purines have two heterocyclic ring fused together. You see, this is the two ring we have. No, uh, two heterocyclic. This is one heterocyclic ring, another heterocyclic ring. Two heterocyclic ring fused together. DNA contains. DNA contains the purine bases in bracket you write down adenine and guanine. DNA contains the purine bases in bracket write down adenine and guanine while pir uh, sorry pir purine bases adenine guanine and pyrimidine bases in bracket thymine and cytosine. So uracil is not present in DNA. Okay. And pyrimidine bases thymine and cytosine. Okay. So uracil it is not present in DNA. Next line, RNA contains, RNA contains uracil instead of thymine. Okay, RNA contains uracil, not thymine. So this thymine, it is not present in not present in RNA. This is the another point. Okay. All these compounds that I have written, uracil, cytosine, okay, thymine, all these are bases, right? And it gives nucleoside, means nucleoside of adenine is adenosine. Okay. 
how do you get nucleoside nucleosides are the n glucosides of purine and pyrimidine bases okay 